Ustaz Tuai tu Ahsan yang eh? Tuai ni ha? Tuai ni Hajj Dizal ha? Ah telefon Ah telefon Dia tak terus berzaf Ha حلو الأطرش بتحكي شي بيجي وبشي ها؟ اللهم صلي على سيدنا محمد حتى يرضى سيدنا محمد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نويت الأربعين نويت الاعتكاف نويت الخلوة نويت العزة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم أبي الله سبحانه وتعالى أبي his prophet سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and obey those who are on authority When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say أَطِيعُ اللَّهِ وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولِ When he say أَطِيعُ اللَّهِ means come to me and ask repentance وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولِ means Come to Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and ask repentance. Wa uli al-amri minkum means uli al-amr in plural, not in singular. So ati Allah. There is no one except one Allah, the Creator, subhanahu wa taala. One, Atiyahu Rasul, Khatam Rasul, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One, Wa Ul Al Amr. He didn't say Wa Atiyahu Ul Al Amr. He said Wa Ul Al Amr, Wa Ul Al Amr Minkum. Means Ul Al Amr can be many. Means whom you like to obey, obey whom you see he is not on the right path, leave him. And it is not we have to accept what ulama are saying if we see there is something wrong in their belief and take us to a direction which is so a, a, a direction that is radical and unacceptable you must not follow use your common sense if it is not was the case like that, then Allah would have said, وَأَطِعُوا لِلْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ The ita'a gave to Allah and to, to himself and to his prophet. وَأُولِ الْأَمْرِ means those are millions. How many, how many أُولِ الْأَمْرِ today? You cannot count them. If you see something wrong, how I am going to follow? Prophet sallallahu said أفضل الجهاد كلمة عدل أو حق عند سلطان جائر The best of jihad is to stand up against a tyrant You have to stand up and that is jihad If you have a problem the Ummah is facing a problem you have someone has to stand up and you can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in the heart of people to stand up today 
against these tyrants. Yeah. Beginning from Tunis, Libya, Egypt, Yemen, we're ending up in Syria. Tomorrow you don't know who and who after tomorrow and who after tomorrow. They stood up for Haq. If they stood up for dunya, they are going to fail. If they stood up to raise up the name of Islam and the name of justice, they will be supported by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To stand up against a Sultan Jair, a tyrant, tyrant Sultan, tyrant leader, is a must. Prophet ﷺ said, it is the best of jihad. Means forget all jihad and focus on the jihad against a tyrant leader. Before you say, I want to make jihad against this or against, make jihad against that, do fix your home first. Huh? Yeah. And what is better than to fix our homes before we go and demonstrate on the street? Let us demonstrate against our homes. In our home, there are a lot of problems. And here home means in our self. There is a lot of problems. We always struggling between our ego, bad desires and good desires. Desires to be a good person, a good Muslim, a good woman struggling against desires which are bad to be bad person, evil person. Always there is a, a struggle. So it's better to fix our inside. If we don't fix our inside, then we are not understanding Islam. Sayyidina Khidr alayhi salam, when he was Sayyidina Musa, hatta rakiba fi safinati kharakaha, until they uh, sailed on the boat, he made a hole. Kala kharaktaha li tughrika ahlaha, you made a hole to sink the people on it? He said yes, because there is a tyrant going to take the, the boat. Means there is a tyrant going to take you, take the people. I, that tyrant is within us. That boat represent our egos that Sayyidina al-Khidr has made a hole in it. When he made a hole, he killed the boat. Means kill yourself before shaitan kills you. Are you killing yourself? You need to kill yourself. Prophet Wasallam said, I am the only one that I killed my shaitan. To kill yourself means to kill your shaitan. No one can kill. But you cannot stay lazy. You have to struggle in order that to kill yourself. When you kill yourself, there is no place for shaitan. When you narrow, narrow, narrow on him, on shaitan, that is killing yourself. You cannot do it 100%. No one can do it. No one, even, even awliya cannot do it. 
only perfection for Prophet No wali can say I killed myself. No wali, big or not big, first level or higher, highest level, they know that perfection only for the Prophet Sultan al-Awliya inheriting from Prophet. So that tajalli coming on him, but not what is coming on Prophet. Perfection is for Prophet From Sultan al-Awliya goes to five kutubs. That tajalli comes, but not complete. They give you everything. No, you still have some gaps, imperfections. Then to Awliyaullah, then to 313, then to 7007, then to Awliyaullah, it's less and less and less and less. So only, only perfection is for Prophet So Awliyaullah, they know that. And they struggle to try to raise themselves higher and higher. Not higher in their ego, but higher in struggling against their ego. Today, we, no one is trying to struggle against his ego. That's why you see people fight with each other. Husband, especially families. Husband and wives, children and parents, or children against children, parents against parents, community against community, country against country, because of ego. And nafsul ammara, the this the nafs, the self that huh, that commands on you what you have to do. Always nafs tells us to do what it likes, not what the soul likes. Nafs al-Ammara, because shaitan is riding. And nafs al the self that blames itself, means it understands that it has to live the 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 self that is command to self that regret lawama to regret what you have done so it is a is a, a rope that they are climbing you know they climb sometimes on rope if you want to reach you have to keep climbing there is nothing to hold you down. If you fall, you fall and you kill yourself. But you have to do it. Awliya Allah, they say, no problem, we fall, we fall. But we want to keep going up. So, when they go up, as they go, they surrender. More surrender, more surrendering. They keep surrendering, keep surrendering until they become like Ibn Ajiba explained that awliya Allah are like earth how much you step on it how much you try to dig how much you try to destroy from it throwing explosive on it doesn't say anything complete taslimiyah complete submission never it said why awliya Allah are like earth they carry people with all their uh, sins how how awliya Allah they don't weigh people as their body weighs uh, how how many kilos you are, uh, pounds you are? 250? 200. 
pounds means 100 kilo, 90 kilos. They don't weigh you by, by weight, 90 kilos. They weigh you by sin. Or by bad or good. Bad, you might weigh, might be hundreds of thousands of pounds. Good hasanat, you might weigh hundreds of thousands of pounds in hasanat. No one can evaluate you except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His Prophet وسلم, his angels, every day they are weighing, every moment. Good, bad, bad, good, good, bad, bad, good. And see how, how you are moving. Awliya Allah, they know that. One, because the zikr, when we do zikr, we do zikr on uh, stones, not on like we are doing now. Maulana, may Allah give him long life, is doing it this way, but it is not the way of, from Maulana Sheikh Abdullah all the way to Prophet وسلم, to Abu Bakr and Siddiq, it was on stones. So Maulana is doing this, especially in this time, for people to learn, especially converts, too many converts he has. So for them to understand and to know, and to memorize. But usually we used to do it with Maulana Sheikh Nazim in Sham on stones. It is 108 stones. If you get one stone, to recite on, sometimes you get five stones, depend on the people, sometimes two stones, sometimes one stone, sometimes ten stones. Well, as much as there are people, you distribute the 108. Sometimes you have 200 people, you don't have enough stones to give. But even one stone you have, Allah will give you the weight of 108 stones. Even you are sitting in the association and you don't have a stone because it was not enough for those who are present, you will have the, the weight of 108 stones given to you as a reward. He said one stone of zikr, that you make zikr on it, is heavier than mountain of Uhud. And mountain of Uhud is heavier to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all mountains of dunya. Mountains of all dunya, mountain of Uhud heavier than all of them. A mountain of Uhud is to look at mountain of Uhud is more baraka than to look at 40 kutubs. To look. That's why when you are uh, going to Medina to Munawwara and the car passing by, or the bus passing by mountain of Uhud, always look at the mountain, nothing else. Even if you have a house you can see mountain of Uhud, look at mountain of Uhud. is more baraka than looking at 40 kutubs. How much the, to, to look at a kutub, how much is important? Looking at mountain of Uhud is heavier than to looking of, of 40 kutubs. If you are of the high caliber and on way of Awliya Allah, then the mu'adala, the formula, huh? the equation will be looking at the kutub is more beneficial than looking at the 40, 40 like Jabal of Uhud. Because then you know the secrets. Then you are looking at his ha face with the secret that he carries. If you are not of that caliber, Looking at Uhud, get Baraka more than looking at 40 Qutub because they are not looking with a secret there. One stone of Zikrullah will give you that. Zikr never stops. 
you stop, but zikr doesn't stop. Zikrullah is your food for akhirah. So everything in this dunya stops except zikrullah. Zikrullah goes to akhirah. Anything dunya doesn't go to akhirah. It finish here. But zikrullah never finish. Salah ala nabi never finish. Qiraatul Quran, to read Quran, never finish. To read hadith of Prophet, never finish. Anything related to Akhirah is under Zikrullah. Bidhikr al-Salihin, look oh, what Prophet Sallallahu said. Bidhikr al-Salihin, Tanzilu al-Rahma. To remember pious people, to mention them. To speak about them, Rahma comes down. Hey, what do you think if you speak about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? If to remember Awliyaullah, you'll get his Rahma on you. And when you get your, his Rahma, means you get the Rahma means you will be present in Prophet's presence because he is the Rahma. So what do you think about if you remember Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Then Rahmatullah and comes on you. Then the ocean of Rahmah will come and dress you. Then you'll be in Allah's presence, divine presence. You understood? Or I repeat. Yeah. So we have to struggle against our uh, uh, bad desires because the good desires is there waiting for you this dunya is not only eating and drinking and uh, having families only no this dunya is a is like you begin a business and you improve and improve and improve and improve. There are sometimes bad decisions that you take, you fall, you improve yourself better, you, you increase, you increase, and you end up in having savings and having this and having that. Also for Akhira, you need to do something. It's, it's a trade. You are trading with heavens. You cannot say, I don't need to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm praying my prayers. I pray your prayers is okay. You go to, to heaven, but you will not be in the highest level of heaven with Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Might be you will see Prophet, but you will not be with him. You might not be at his haud, his river, kawthar. You might come one time, drink and go. But there are people who sit there. So what we need to do is to fix our inside and to make sure that we have no way for shaitan to come in. We have to fix our homes and to say where well, someone has to stand up when you see all this what's going on from cheating and deceiving and bribing and, uh, and uh, conspiring and controlling and all this and uh, lying and uh, uh, envy, jealousy, uh, trying to divide people uh, and you see that and you know it is there and it is happening you don't stand up. If someone stand up and say the truth and say Afdalu Afdalul Jihad Kalimatu Adl and the Sultan in Jair, the best of jihad is the word of truth and justice in the presence of a tyrant sultan. In every home there is a sul tyrant sultan. You have to stand up against that one. And those who are your friends, 
or your brothers in Islam or your sisters seeing that and don't support you, they are the one that be thrown in hell fire first. Because they know the truth and they are not standing up. So some people they stand up, those are Allah will reward them. As in countries, different Muslim countries, they are standing up. Also, in a home where a wali is and too many people around and some people try to hijack the voice, you have to stand against them. Or else you are a shaitan. So let us understand this Ramadan is tomorrow, Friday. Let us understand that we have to stand for Haq. If everyone stands for Haq, we will win against Shaitan. If no one stands for Haq, who is going to win? You will be defeated. But your job is to continue struggling and standing and standing up and standing up and saying the truth. May Allah forgive us. May Allah bless us. Bi hurmat al Habib, hurmat al Fatiha. Ashhadu 